one contract can create another contract and that's what we're going to learn in this video that how you can execute a contract and that will generate another contract and what is the keyword to create a new contract what was the old method and in which version this new keyword is introduced so that's all we're going to learn in this video so let's let's provide the general configuration license identifier pragma soiety versions let's create a contract we're going to call it car and in that we're going to define a couple of variables so first one is going to be address string and we have this address public car ad so these are the three state variables we have here and now let's create the constructor to update this data so we'll say constructor and that we have to pass the address of the owner we have to pass the string memory and the model so these are the two data we are passing it's going to be a payable and in that what we have to do is we have to set that owner we have to set the model and then we have to simply add the address and the address is going to be the this address which is a contract address our address is the contract address and this is how you can initialize if you want to know that what is the address of the contract which you are about to deploy you can do in this way you can simply add the address and you can provide this this means the contract address itself so this is our constructor now let's come down here we're going to create another contract we'll call car factory and in that we have to define an array we'll say public car inside that we're going to define a function create in that we're going to pass the address honor string and model is going to be a public inside that we're going to take the car so right now we have an array we're going to create a we have a contract we're going to utilize this we're going to call this car dot honor and in that we're going to pass this model so honor and the model the data we are getting from the user so that's what we are passing here we'll create a car dot push and we're going to push the entire data into the array we have created Let's come here let's create a function we'll call it car and send ether function create and send ether it will take the address of the owner it will take the string memory model and public payable because we want to send the fund so we have to use the keyboard public otherwise it will throw an error let's come here we're going to create a car array and this time we are creating another contract using one contract so that's why we have to use this new keyword and this is the keyword is introduced in sortie point 0 0.8 version so if you want to generate a new contract from one contract you have to use this new keyword and that we are assigning that car and we are sending the value because this is going to be our constructor and this is the exact value we have assigned in our constructor so we have to pass the data we have to pass the owner and the model so this is the data we are passing in the constructor now we have to simply push the data into our array and that looks fine let's create another function we'll call it create to so this is a one more method which allow you to create a contract so let's check this one and that we're going to simply pass the address of the owner we have to pass the string model and we're going to say by data 32 slot and that we need to make it public and that we're going to simply say car dot and we're going to use the same thing new car we have to provide the slot and honor and the model so you have noticed one thing that earlier we have used the value and that we are using the slot both exactly work in the same way in that we're going to call this car dot push and we're going to simply push the data into our array let's create another function we're going to call this create and create to and send ether inside that we have to pass the function address we have to pass the string model we have to pass the by 32 slot and we're going to make it public payable so it can transfer the eaters let's do the car and we're going to follow the general convention we have to send the value and we have to send the slot owner and model then we have to simply push the data let's create another function we'll call get car and we need to provide the index of the index of the data we want to receive from that array because we have taken a car array and that we have all the data which we have created using this different method so we want to find the data for the particular car so we're going to take this push public value view return and we want to return the data so we want to return the address of the owner and we want to return that we have to return the address car and we want to return the balance and we simply going to take the car we'll take the entire array and in that we're going to pass the index because every car will have a index and the data will get back to this and here we're going to simply return the owner we're going to call this car dot owner car dot model and car dot address and all this data so in this way we can easily be able to access all the data 
because our car object will have the access of each of this data because of we have used the public keyword remember our state variable is a public keyword so that's why we can easily be able to call it and this will give us the data and that looks pretty good that's the entire code for this testing that how you can generate one contract from another contract this is a car factory this is the car contract this is the car factory contract and we have bunch of functions so these are the two contract we have written for creating one contract from another contract so this is the first contract which is a car contract we have the state variable and we made it public so that's why we can see here we can call that functions so we can easily get the data this is the first contract and this is the second contract so let's try to deploy this and let's try to have a look so what i'm going to do is here we have this two car and in that we have to define the constructor so you can see these are the data we are passing in the constructor so i want to set uh, address so i'm going to be the owner of the contract and i want to pass this string so i'll say hey and i will say the transaction the transaction went successful the transaction went successful if you if you simply come here if you come here and if you see the things you can click on the honor so this is the honor if you call the model this is the hey model and if you call this address so this is the address of the contract so this is our address so if you if i copy and if i paste here you will see the exact address so this is the exact address which is got updated to our contract so if whenever you want to know the contract address this is how you can utilize it so this is the first contract we have now what i can do i can simply deploy the contract factory and in that we don't need to pass anything so simply come click on this deploy and here we have the deployed contract if you open that one in that you will have all these functions so we have this create create to create to and send this is the car so right now if i pass the zero index i won't get anything i don't get anything you can see the transaction can be reverted because we don't have anything into that if i pass the again here get it will not do anything because we don't have anything into that now let's create a click on the create method and if i come here here we need to pass the true data address and the string so this is the method we are using we have to pass the owner and we have to pass the model name so for the address purpose i'm going to use the my address so i will click copy that one and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to say b u d d y buddy i can hit on the transaction and the transaction went successful and if i call this one i'll get that data you can see this is the address which i have assigned used to create the account so we have that in our if i call a click on this you will get this exact data you can get the entire data and that's what we are returning that's what we are returning because we have access of this state variables and that's how we can simply call that so we are getting the entire data and that's the pretty simple things you have to know you have to clear the straight variable you can call it here and you can easily be able to get the access of the data right now you can see here we have defined the data called byte 32 i don't want to convert otherwise it will take me a lot of time to convert the data into 32 to byte and simply call this one the only thing you have to keep in mind that there is a way to create another contract using this new keyword and you will find this a lot in most of the contract when you, one, one contract is dependent on the other contract creation so this is the things take into an account this one in this method is a old method create to which you will not find in most of the contract to creating a new contract this method is a very new one right now it sounds very complicated you can see a lot of things are going on but these are not that important the only thing you have to focus in this new keyword that you can utilize it to access the contract which you want to create by the definite value and that's the only thing you have to keep in mind so with that i'm ending this video hope this makes sense to all of you if you still have any confusion any doubt do, do watch the video one more time and if you still have any confusion do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that with that said let's move to the next video